Hello. Hello. Uh, this is season two, episode seven. And I'm MD of in inventory management. Of and MD I, of and, the MD podcast. And I'm big. This is, I'm sorry. You know, while you were on a business trip, you just took over. I made the executive decision. There's been five new episodes. I. It's I, only you. I. I. You're, you are my co-star. <laughs> This is my podcast now. <laughs> Hello, guys. I am the captain. <laughs> I am the captain now. Yes. Welcome. Episode 7. Hope everyone's doing well. Yeah. It's been... Uh, it's actually been two weeks for I was about us. To, I was about to say, it's actually been some time for us. We yeah. were, we, we back to... Do we do back to back? We did. Yeah, we did well, Saturday. We did, we we did, did Saturday episodes. and Sunday yeah, for we recording. Did two episodes in one week, at least. Yeah, we did two episodes in one week, and that was two weeks ago because I was in LA last weekend. So, um, I'm back. Welcome back. And now we're back. Yeah. <laughs> so, we didn't even have to tell them we were gone. That's true, but I like keeping you guys up to date on what's going on, so. Keeping people in the loop? What is this? Yeah, what's going on in what your- What are you, Twitter? What's going on in your loop? I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making moves. Big business. Big, big business. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're back at it on our, our regular schedule, at least for now. I think you're probably doing a trip sometime in the nearest future. No, you were talking about it. Maybe, uh, things don't work out. Oh, okay. Let's see, we haven't even caught up, so. Yeah, no. I, I am stuck until holidays. Nice. Okay. Next move is me going to downtown Seattle for PAX. Nice. Same. Yeah, so if you're watching this now, it's beginning-ish of August, and so uh, PAX is just about a month away, a little bit under. Um, I was about actually, like maybe three four, weeks. four weeks, I think. It's Labor Day weekend. So but, it's September first through the fourth. So that's less than a month away. What is today? Oh, today's the eleventh. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, three weeks. Um, yeah. So, yeah, PAX West is on its way. Um, that'll be fun. Be nice catching up with some people. It'll be nice seeing what the gaming industry does. So <laughs> I'm just wanting to see who shows up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, we got all that. Uh, we got a couple of, I guess, interesting topics. More more gaming news than tech news than, than anything else. So. I mean, there's tech news. It's just too boring tech news. <laughs> No one wants to listen that. We're not that kind of podcast. The the fun piece of tech news that I wanted to bring to the table, we discussed it a little bit before the show started, and I kind of wish we didn't because it would have been surprising and fun. But um, for those of you who are not avid South Park watchers, uh, like 20 years ago, South Park joked about uh, World of Warcraft, uh, and they had a really big World of Warcraft episode. It became super famous. And in the episode, they joke about uh, Butters playing instead of playing world of warcraft with literally everyone else in south park he's playing hello kitty island adventure which is a game that never came out uh and because of that uh tons of like nerd shows and and podcasts and stuff have, have referenced hello kitty island adventure for the last 20 years and now it is officially announced that they actually made a Hello Kitty Island Adventure so game. So when can I play it? I, I don't actually know. I'd have to look it up. So like, we'll, we'll put the release date right, right we'll watch there. It, watch it. It's already available it might for be. download. It might be. It might be. Yeah, if that... It'll you're just go, write, you're gonna play see, now. No, you're going to see our gameplay right here. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. We're not going to I'm play not it. doing the gameplay for the edit. <laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't know that. I knew of it. I knew the meme. I, I knew the South Park reference. But you I, thought it was a game that was I just figured it was a joke game. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I just didn't understand how much of a joke game it was. So, yeah. A joke game to the point that it didn't even exist. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, yeah. I spoiled myself by asking questions before the podcast, but... That's okay. Curiosity killed the cat, right? Super funny. So, if you didn't... If, if you never knew of that, now you know. So, if it's out... 
picture here. If not, also release date here. Correct. Um, info, just somewhere in, in the void. He's making me have to edit so much. <laughs> I literally am telling you to just put a block here. I'm not saying track my hands. We already went over this VR stuff. You don't have to track my hands to the edit. Um, yeah, so that's cool. On the absolute flip side of Hello Kitty, we got Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Which is... Came out this week. An absolute gem. I must say. Yeah, there's a lot of reports on like saying how this is the standard of game that people should be expecting nowadays, which is r a really hard thing to say because no matter how much people like dunk on the game industry for releasing games that aren't ready yet, which is true, don't get me wrong, it happens, um, but people want absolute perfection, which just is not the reality of what can happen. I'm okay if a game has some bugs, Yeah, but... I'm not sacrificing bugs over content. Oh, absolutely. That's the standard I'm setting. If you're going to release a game, at least give me everything you promised. Right. Yeah, yeah. And that's the bare minimum. Like, if you say, oh, it's going to have all this stuff and it's going to be really cool, blah, blah, blah. Show me that stuff at launch. Yeah, Don't yeah. show me six months or a year after launch. Unless they stated that that's their, their, Unless they, their, their, uh, their milestone uh, plan sure, for a year. It, it, and if it's a live service game, well, I have my own problems with live service games, but <laughs> you know, if, if that's what it is at, like you've stated that this is what you're developing and it's a live service game, then okay, fine. Like, you know, stuff evolves and that's the, 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 the reality of live service games. Yeah. But if you're, if you're just a dev, and you're like, we're making this awesome single player game. Cool. Everything <laughs> that you say better be there at launch when I buy it for that 60 or $70 price tag. Uh, if, don't don't give me no expansion a year later. If they said that that's what should be in the game, then that's what should be don't, in the game. Don't, don't give me this microtransaction paywall that I have to like funnel my way through to just get the experience that I need <laughs> out of it. <laughs> Yeah. I'm looking at you, Ark. Oh, God. Um, um, yeah, so Baldur's Gate came out this past week, and there's already been an influx of over 700,000 concurrent players. And their projections... That's people playing at the same time. And their projections was 100,000. Yeah. So they blew it out of the water. The the reality is, is if you don't know what this game is, it is the most D and D that you can play in D and D. Like, and it's set in the D and D universe. So if you play D and D all the time, you just know the lore and creatures and how the game works. Yeah, and that's great because it just. Is a whole new a whole new level of immersion for you to play your D and D like. Yeah. You want to recreate your character in a game? Cool. Pen and paper turned into a character I can. Yeah. Explore a world with awesome. They really made the D and D experience like so lively that it's enjoyable to not only uh, play but watch on streams, and they made it interactive with Twitch integrations. And then on top of which, if you don't know anything about D&D, &D, if you like turn-based games at all, you'll probably have fun. Um, they just really did a good job with yeah. it. So. If I had time, I'd probably pick it up. I don't have time for <laughs> it. It's definitely a game right where now. you needed time to play it. Well, but... my friend, before, before, like earlier today, probably like maybe two hours ago, I was talking with a friend and he was like, oh, are you playing Baldur's Gate? I was like, no, man, I don't have time for it. I yeah. wish he was like, me neither, man, but I'm 20 hours in. I still haven't finished that one. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you can go for a long time on it, so. And he was like, there's so much to explore, and I'm nowhere close to finishing this first stat. I'm like, that's a time crunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely that. So, yeah, I mean, if you don't know anything about it, at least consider watching, uh, uh, watching trailers on YouTube or on Steam on their store page. Do all that. It is really cool. It's not personally a game that I would play because I'm just really not 
a D&D or too much of a turn-based fan. There are some turn-based games that I'll play, but it's so far and few between. But I am getting a lot of enjoyment watching people play the game because they're so immersed into it. They're just having a blast. Yeah, so it's definitely best RPG of the year. I'm sorry, Starfield. <laughs> yeah, it's very possible. Man, we, we had an episode where we talked about what are the potential top games that are coming out. I forgot year, if it was coming out. And we didn't yeah, we didn't talk about Baldur's Gate, and Baldur's Gate is is one of those. And the reason we forgot that it was coming out is because it's been in early access forever. Yeah. So um yeah, yeah. that's true but it, it's definitely a potential to 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 beat diablo or to beat starfield i'm trying to think <laughs> zelda oh yeah 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 hmm. it's just hard oh, it's hard it's very B different. very big difference in genres also, for all well, three of them yeah genres are all different like at its core, they're all RPGs, but they're also very drastically set in different yeah. universes that, you know, it appeals to different people. And on that fact, like, yeah, every one of these games appeals to a de different demographic. Yeah. Because Zelda's, you know, clearly more acceptable, you know, for children, whereas Baldur Gate is really more for it, adults. It's definitely meant for adults. Um not to say that kids can't have fun with it, but there's a lot of M-rated content with it. I was about to say, I read an article that it's probably one of the, like, most popular yet most horniest game there's, on the market right now. There's tons of M-rated content in the game, yeah. so it's kind of crazy. It's crazy how sexual it is, but that's, I guess, very... D and D of it because in D and D anything can happen. You want to yeah. romance the, you want to, you want to marry the dragon and have kids with it. Sure, go for it. Yeah, there's there's a lot of limitless capabilities in the game, so it's pretty cool. So we'll see. Can't yeah. wait for the game awards. Yeah, game awards is gonna be wild. I actually think that Baldur's Gate might take it over Diablo. So, um, hey, you know the best way to play Baldur's Gate right now though. though? Steam Deck? Yeah. <laughs> you can go get your cheap refurbished Steam Deck. Yeah, that's that was so that's the last topic that we had for today is that the Steam Deck or Valve is now selling refurbished Steam Decks. Which honestly I didn't expect that they would ever do. You made I didn't it. think that, that was gonna be That's fun. how you know you made it, is if you got refurbs. You got some refurbs. Because that means a lot of people have been going through your product. Yeah. I, I did not think that they would ever do that. And I mean, it's to the point where like, you could get a Steam Deck for really cheap, so. I, I as as an owner myself, I really enjoy it. I don't use it probably as much I use as it strictly I should, for travel. But yeah, when I've traveled, sometimes when work's really slow, uh, you know, like I'm on a lunch break or something, like just, random spurts of downtime or where i'm stuck somewhere yeah like it's yeah. great i've gotten really good fun out of it i love how portable it is i think it's great so yeah i mean like if you're looking into a handheld like refer your steam decks a pretty good deal yeah they're doing pretty good with it it's and it's only getting be, better too there's got to be solid real warranties on those so oh i'm for i'm sure yeah and i mean like when it comes to like most things, like it's very like the, the the part that's a goal really go out is the battery. Yeah. I mean for Valve that's really easy to take it apart, put a new battery in it, seal it back up and yeah. say like, hey, this is good. Yeah. So I uh, great deal if you're looking for something, yeah. in my honest tech opinion. I think I think if uh if you if you're really big on playing on a Switch, but you want to be able to play PC games, I, I think it's a no-brainer purchase. So, yeah. But the fact of the matter is, is I just don't play my Switch enough. I literally only play it for travel, which is exactly the same thing what happened to my Steam Deck. Yeah. So if that's the case, that that's what you play your Switch for is travel, I probably say, unless you want a Steam Deck specifically for travel, it's not worth the purchase. But if you play your Switch just at home or on the go or anything like that, then I'd say Steam Deck is definitely worth the purchase. Or 
the Asus one. Asus one. No, the RG Ally. R the Ally. Yeah. yeah. But it's more expensive. It's and more you're expensive. dealing with Windows and there's mm, there, some people say that they'd rather deal with Windows. Uh, than, the, so. Well, it's a give and take. There's yeah. pros and cons to both. So Yeah. That's a discussion for another time. Yeah. And if you want my own this tech opinion, I'm willing to give it. <laughs> um, I'm here for consultations. Five so we got, dollars a talk. We got two packages. We'll just say the higher roll will take the first package, the one that's closest. Okay. Nine. Twelve. <laughs> I didn't go hit my hand. Okay. All right. I'll roll twice. Twenty. <laughs> I don't know, man. That looks like a zero. <laughs> first package um yeah so so you, oh, so you get that package get does this that package. mean you go first yeah or well okay we can roll again for who goes first i know what package i have roll again for who goes first okay I'm, we'll go with the purple one Maybe uh, it's, weighted. it's the weighted die oh two oh i thought you rolled a three <laughs> <laughs> all right you go first then all okay. right all right, it's definitely weighted die. Well, I don't even know. If we I don't need even think you need one. the scissors, so. Uh, well, this I don't is, know what's in it, so to be sure. True. So this is one of our repackaged boxes because everything came in the same box. So just as clarification. Uh, yeah, we definitely peaked. We uh, over the hiatus that y'all didn't see. Definitely um, didn't peak. I just got really bored. <laughs> Again, this is my podcast. I just could not fathom and sitting here. You audio listeners, it's a very flat box. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Foot dimensions. and a half by foot and a quarter by two and a half inches. So something I can like tell that. you, it looks pretty empty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. How am I going to. looks pretty empty. How am I going to demonstrate this? Oh no. Buyers, what have you done? So, have you ever had a mouse? And you're like... Uh, uh, like a pet mouse? No, no, no. Like a, a computer mouse. Computer, okay, computer mouse. Uh-huh. Okay. And now I know where we're getting started. And you ever thought, man, I hate how much space my keyboard takes up. And I can't okay, so fling I, my shots so in Valorant. So I Valor. also have a keyboard. Yeah. Okay. So, so imagine the, you're playing games. and you're Okay. Just, now, now we're getting somewhere. And you're flinging your shots in <laughs> Valorant. You're like, man, I keep on smacking my keyboard. Okay. Yeah. I just need just the keys I need to play. Uh, oh, mini keyboard? We got a keypad. Oh, <gasps> ooh. Single-handed gaming keypad. I don't think we actually have to show this. I think that the... Well, I mean, we have to show it, but I, I we hey, don't, don't have, look at it. We you don't said don't show we it. We don't have to function it. And it's wireless? 2.4G? Oh. And it's got RGB, it looks like, supposedly. So if it's wireless, I wonder... It's, okay, so it's a charge base. I'm going to let you unbox it. So we got, we got our dongle. Dongle. And we got... <gasps> it's Type-C! <laughs> I'm just going to show the camera once once you take it out. We got Chonky Boy. It is called Red Thunder. So there's for the camera. That's the keys that you need, essentially. Oh, wrong screen. Hold you don't on. want that one either. I am. Why? Not. They're under the table. <laughs> I am not a podcast. Oh, my God. So look at, look at this. All right, put the big camera on. What do you mean? The one, yeah. Look at this. There you go. You did I, it. I can game single-handedly. And it's got the wrist rest. Look at this. Well, show, show it with the mouse. So you have a mouse right there, right? Well, yeah. So the case is that... Well, you hold this. I can't mouse and game. So I got my mouse, got my keyboard. And we're going to flick some shots. And look at this. No, Don't start clicking. No, No keyboard. No keyboard to whack. Just the mouth, just the dongle that you need to plug in. <laughs> just goes flying. Perfect. I'm just gonna. This is nice. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan I mean, it's, of how it feels, but you know. It's literally half a keyboard. 
There you go, and toggle back over to the other camera. Just the main camera. Yeah, I'll put this back. So it's it's literally half a keyboard. And I wonder if I can get it turned on. I mean, you definitely can get it turned on. Oh, true, we just need to see the colors. I just want to see the pretty lights. Ain't got no battery. <laughs> Ain't got no battery. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> uh, side moving light beam direction. What the heck does that mean? Side moving light beam direction. Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> 12, kind, 12 kinds RGB backlight modes. 12 kinds. Oh no, is it not going to be enough power? What do you mean? It's a battery bank. How much output could it possibly need? I don't know, man. It's not turning on. Do you need to charge it first? Let it charge first. It might not charge while it's on. I don't think there's a battery in here. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you, it needs to be directly plugged into the computer? Wait, no. It's wireless. I don't think there's a battery in here. There's no instructions. Oh, there are instructions. There you go, you got some stickers. <laughs> the stickers of literally just the red text of the logo of the company that no one has ever heard of before. <laughs> it's, it's silly. Nonsense. Oh, it does have a battery. Of course it has a battery. Uh, hey man, like, I don't know. So this is why the red light is on, it's charging. It probably just needs some juice before you can do anything. Well, Trying to start it while it's completely dead. Hey man. Uh, is red when charging and the full, it's full when the mode batch is flashing. Okay, well then uh, we'll uh, give it a, give it a little charge. We'll, we'll open charge. the second package, and then we'll see if it's if it's gained some battery. How about that? Sure. Give me this. So we'll we'll let it do it. Don't lose the dongle. Does it have a dongle storage? No. No. Not on the side or anything. No. No. That's a shame. I like when devices have dongle storage. Well, there you go. In between the keys. Second package. We'll get back to package one. Perfect. Is there something in here? Oh. That's how I felt about mine. Have you ever wanted... <laughs> have you ever wanted... To be... A professional photographer? Kinda. <laughs> but you said... Oh... Damn. DSLRs are just so damn expensive. Uh-huh. And he said, I wish I could just attach something to my phone. Like oh. a, a lens kit. Fancy! I wonder... I've actually always wanted to try these. And so, I'm going to. But does it work with my 17 camera iPhone 13? Well, you see here. It looks like it, it does. It looks like it do. <laughs> it looks like it do be do that. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so actually camera, right? Lens kit. And it uses an iPhone as the example. So I imagine that that is actually the case. Um, it says, true view, uh, 0.45x wide angle lens, Claris 15 times macro lens, glow clip rechargeable LED fill light, Recharge, uh, charging cable, quick release lanyard, travel hard case, and a microfiber lens cleaning cloth. You're getting, you're getting too excited. No, I, I haven't gotta, seen this go down. You gotta leave it be. Don't worry about. I don't think it. it's charging. You gotta leave it be. I just don't. Think Th it's was charging. the red light on? As a carabiner clip. I mean, I, whatever. We'll, we'll get Look at this to little it. hard case. Nice little hard case. Do you actually want to get the tripod camera and just set it up here? Be a little closer. There we go. There you go. Perfect. 
perfect. So we have, so first of all, phone, iPhone, right? Phone, don't look at my Slack messages. We have clip. clip. What does clip do? Clip holds lens. Clip holds lens? Oh. That's how lens goes on phone. What? <laughs> what, what few words save time. Big brain moves only. What is this? The light. Light. Lamp. <laughs> Lamp. <laughs> Forget there was a sentence I said the other day that our other roommate was not a fan of. And it said something like, I'm just not a fan of lamps. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I don't even remember how that came up. We're talking about something about your desk. Oh, because I, yeah, I don't like lamps because they take up too much space on your desk. I'd rather have ceiling lights. And so I so said, just not a fan of lamps. And he just did not like that sentence. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, that's so bright. Show the camera. Flashbang. Ha ha ha. Bing. Flashbang. Oh, it gets brighter. Oh. Wait, how bright does it go? Surprise. Holy. Oh my god. That's super bright. We have cleaning cloth. We have hard case. We have... Oh, hold on, I got this. We have a nice... Nice little lens. Look at this. It goes, boop. Look how fancy. This looks like legitimately something that you put on a camera. Are you just attaching it to the camera? There you go, guys. <laughs> Professional lighting. Oh, wait, it goes on both sides? I saw, how does this work? I should probably read the instructions. Oh, multi-level. Mm. Interesting. So I could just do well, this. So it was a, right? a wide angle and then a macro. So you can do wide angle on the macro? Oh, and they all just screw into this thing, into the clip that you put on your phone. This is super cool. Just don't scratch the lenses. So which ones that say it is on the set? This says 15 times macro. So, so what do I do? I just do this? I literally just do that? Yeah, you might have to angle it once you get into your camera app. All right. Camera. And then what? I just... Is gonna be, okay. I'm just going to show you guys, and then I'll flip it. So you attach it, right? Attach. Oh! That is super cool. So, it's super zoomed or a super wide angle. And you can just see, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put it back very easily. There it is. So you can literally see. See, I'm, I'm saying this like people have never tried this before, but realistically, I bet a lot of people have tried this. We, or I just have not. I don't know. I've never personally seen anyone with a lens kit. I've definitely seen people use them. I just haven't. So this is wide angle. So I do want to see the, the macro. Well, this is actually, no, this is the macro, right? Yeah, that says macro. It didn't feel like it was 15 times zoom, but maybe. Well, we didn't get really close up on anything. We had it just looking at the table. That's true. So you are right. It wasn't really macroing. So I think that you have to have both. You think so? Yeah, it looks like it, it attaches. No, no. Hmm. Okay. And also, that's just glass on glass. No, it's not. There's no glass right there. Oh, that's not a cool illusion. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been optic. Bamboozled. For the last time. I should probably do all this on camera. Man, this, this little light's kind of coming in clutch. It actually is really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna try just putting it on. The only complaint that I have in regards to the iPhone cameras is that 
you cannot choose specifically which camera you want to use. And I hate that so much. Can you do that on your phone? Can you say, I want to use the super zoom camera or whatever? Or no? Well, I mean, I have a wide angle. I have a standard. Right. Can you choose which, ca which camera I you mean, want to use? Yeah. You can manually toggle it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's how you do through the sizing. That's how you're choosing the camera. Right, but the iPhone will automatically toggle it to a different camera if there's something in the way of a different camera. So if I if I block the current camera, it will switch cameras. Oh, mine won't switch. Correct. That's what I was trying to figure like out. Like if I hit 0.5, it stays on 0.5 no matter what's in frame. So I'm trying to figure out, is it zooming? And see, see how it's changing which camera? See, I've never heard this problem. Are you sure it's not a setting? It's definitely not a setting. It, this is a very, very common problem in iPhones. It's definitely interesting. I just, I mean, it's definitely wider. Like you can see, like, here, let's do this. Oh no, they're seeing the secrets. Don't look at the secrets. Behind the scenes. So I'm gonna try to leave it as still as possible. So you can see, the lamp is like halfway cut off and you can see the whiteboard is like just just inside of the frame right not completely cut off but when i put the wide angle and i can actually find it you see how much except for my fingerprint right in the middle of the cat the thing you can actually see way to the side of the the lamp it is and working. way to the left of the camera or the the whiteboard no it does work. It's actually really cool. This is neat. I think uh, I think my goal, do you wanna switch cameras? Um, I think my goal out of this is, uh, I'm gonna try and use this outside. So tomorrow, I'm, tomorrow I'm getting my car repaired. And uh, I think what I'm gonna try and do is uh, go take comparison photos uh, between my regular phone lens, the macro only lens, and the and the super wide angle lens on top of the macro lens. And then post those comparisons in the Discord. Uh, and maybe I'll do a YouTube short too, just flipping through the, the photos. It won't be like a professionally edited one by any means, but it's just a showcase, a follow-up on this episode. You seem pretty disappointed by not getting the lights on. Uh, in the meantime, super, super cool. Uh, I'm actually really impressed with the, with the buyer's choices, uh, in this whole season, they've been on it. Like the items you guys have chosen are really cool. Uh, you're right. My disappointment is unmeasurable because just try plugging it into the computer directly. See, I just don't know if we got any spare USB ports. We'll unplug this camera. Well, I'm gonna. That's that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So if you guys are watching this, you're watching it live on Saturday. Uh, uh, well, if if you're watching it when it came out, uh, that that same day, I'm gonna go take the comparison photos between the regular photo on my phone, the uh, and the two different lenses that came in this kit and post it as a YouTube short. So look for the YouTube short. It's gonna be tied to this episode, season two, episode seven, uh, and see see the differences between the photos yourself. Uh, we'll also post it on TikTok if you're a big TikToker. So in the meantime, super cool item without putting it to, to actual use. Uh, I'm, I'm giving this, uh, I mean, it's really nice. It came in such a nice little setup. I don't know. I, I think I give this like a nice eight and a half. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, it's hard to say without field testing that. Realistically, if the camera lenses do what they're supposed to do and do the zooming and do the, the widening, then I would give this, this, this kit an eight and a half. 
That's fair. Is that is that your rating as well, or probably? Yeah, I mean, probably give it an eight. I mean, I wish there's maybe like a third lens, but you know. I, and eh. that's that's why I gave it an eight and a half because what I would like to see is like, if we're talking about like fifteen times, so like the iPhone does, what does it do? Twenty. It does fifteen on it on its own. So if I attach a 15 to a 15, it should theoretically go really, really far. So uh, I'm gonna do some of that testing and see, but I mean, you know, I kind of wish- that 15 is probably somewhat digital. Zoom. Oh, it's definitely digital expansion. And we're in, that's an actual It's and It's actual, right. Uh, so what I would say is that I would be interested in seeing like, you know, instead of like just going straight to 15 times, if there was something in between a 5x zoom or something, you know? I would actually probably give it more of a 7 because the lens kits I really do like. And I get it that it comes with some caveats. I'm not really a big fan of the, the clip. How else are you going to attach it? Uh, a lot of the ones I see come paired with a case. Oh, so you attach case case on your phone, and, and then so it the just case slots. is on your phone, and then the lens screws onto the back of the case. That's actually a really cool. So that way, it's you still can just have your normal phone. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, I want. But I want how this. nice is this? You I know? mean that. Well, I'm saying like you know the carrying case and all that is fine. I'm just not a fan of having right. To clip it but you're like you're not putting a whole case inside of something like this. You know. That's well, what that's I'm what I'm saying. You never have to take off the case. Oh, you, you carry... permanently have that case on your phone? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just like, what quick... if you don't like that case though? You know? Well, that's, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying more for my preference. Yeah. I would rather have like a quick solution. I don't like, I don't know how you're supposed to line this up all the time. Once accurately. I can figure that out, I do think that my eight and a half will live strong. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm just not a fan of a clip. I gotcha. Uh, keyboard, I can't read. I literally, like... Uh, you I, plugged it in and it didn't do anything? Yeah, it's not doing anything. No, you plugged into the... the... It's, it's plugged in right oh, now. Oh, it's currently plugged in. Yeah, I guess I just gotta let it charge. Hmm. But, uh, I mean, feel, like... I mean, I think it's cool. Wrist rest and a half keyboard, like... I mean, it's at least a six, but, like... Alright, this is what we're gonna do. I won't have... We won't be saying what the rating is right now but by the time the video goes live hopefully there will be a rating right 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 there there my gut feeling is and six. one over there my gut feeling is six well we'll see that's just because of how it feels to type on it yeah i do oh it has no click i want to click yeah it's membrane yeah no i want to click but Half keyboards are super nice when you have the need for it. Can't take up the key kicks. I bet you can, but just not like monkey gripping it. Are you, are you <laughs> doubting the strength of the fingers? My fingies can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I have figured out a, a small complaint on the clip. It, it's the only thing that doesn't fit in the carry case. <laughs> I uh, may. Oh no, I did not. I was about to lost say the I, dongle. I, I was about to say I might have lost the dongle, but I did not. Yeah, you can't fit the the clip in the carry case. What if? What if? Hold on. I don't no, it doesn't because the can the the thing is in the way. Unless I like flipped this. Did it go in there originally? I feel like everything was in there originally, no? Was it? I just feel like I'm gonna like break the lens. I feel like everything was in there. Hmm. Hmm. It's possible I'm just dumb. Now I'm like no, hold on. maneuvering. What if we clip this onto that? How is that good? What? It's a square. Just, how, what? No, how, there's a case. Oh, okay. There is a cap. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. We'll roll back the footage. 
That's the only way I'm gonna find out how it, how it originally was packaged. Well, yes, I do agree. Hard that. rating episode. Because uh, they're both things you have to actually f functionally use. It is. I mean, I'm really, I, I do, I do like the stuff that the buyers have been giving, but this one was hard. Got it. Because I don't know what to do. Got it. Now I'm going to be really sad if you sent me a keyboard and it's dysfunctional. <laughs> your just, buyers, your rating depends on that alone. I'm just saying right now. This do, determines whether you get money for next doing week. much. I'm going to go plug this into my gaming laptop. If I don't become pro, why ain't the next uh, faker? You have to be the next Valorant pro. Enter championship series tomorrow. Man, he's the, oh, I have to, do I have to be the next tens? I hear that I have 100 be, Thieves is hiring. I have to be the next tens? Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's a long... Long thing. It's a long drawstring. You look lanyard. Like, you look like a tourist. You look like an IRL streamer. You got your lanyard? I'll see you guys in Tokyo next week. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, uh, we're out. <laughs> no, not yet. We have the character that they need to name. Perfect, beautiful. I, I don't know. Great. I don't know who we're going to name. Sure you do. <laughs> I, I don't want. I don't want to give any hints. All right. Uh, name the character, participate. Every week you can go back to previous episodes, uh, watch those, name those characters, fill out the forms. Um, person with the most points at the end of the season, actually the top three people, uh, in order will get to choose the item that they want to get shipped to them. It could be lenses for your phone. It could be half a keyboard. It might not be this half of this keyboard. It might be another keyboard I have upstairs and we'll just send you half of that one. I'm cool with having a keyboard <laughs> half. We might just send you two halves of a keyboard. Two halves of a keyboard. You have to figure out how to put them back together and make it work. You don't have to put them back together. Just, I don't know. Figure out a plug, put the plug back in, plug it right into your computer. <laughs> I don't think that's how motherboards work, but sure. Uh, yeah. Participate in name of the game. Uh, win some cool stuff. Have some fun. MD very much. Oh, wait. There's another thing I have to fit in this case. No. Nice. I thought you were just going to flashbang the audience no, I, before we signed I, off. I mean, that was the plan, and then you, uh, and you, uh, distracted me. I don't think it's good clothes. You doubted me? I mean, that looks like it's ready to burst. It does look like it's going to burst. We'll catch you guys next week. Um, Water break. Episode... <laughs> <laughs> That's the face you're giving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next week. Uh, subscribe. Uh, get your name on the board. Get your name in the next screen. And like, comment, uh, watch the videos. Do all that good stuff. Join the Discord. Participate there. Suggest items for the buyers to buy. There's something in my eye. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, look at all these cool people. Look you want to be part of them? Give us money. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Next screen.